Hi, in this short video, I'll give you a quick overview and tour of Enhanced Session Recording with BPF. BPF stands for uh, Berkeley Packet Filter. It's technology that's been around for a while, but in the last few major Linux kernel versions, it has been included. It lets developers make programs cross Linux distro without having to get too deep into modifying the kernel. So you can write, in our case, Golang programs which can interact with the kernel without having to write kernel specific modules or loading them in. This means it's much easier for us to develop more advanced instrumentation and this has a few benefits. One, we can use this for auditing events and we can also use it for restricted sessions. I'll show you restricted sessions at the end. Our standard session recording does cover a lot. It covers um, sort of a live screen recording and audit log activities, but there's a few things that it may not capture. Obfuscation, um, you may not necessarily know what exactly happened. So if you were to type this command, which actually I can do in a um, instance that doesn't have it, let me just log into Teleport. So I have some with BPF, some without it. Okay, so I'm on this host here. So if I run this, you can see that this has gone ahead and run curl and a few different things, but unless I have to go back into the session recording, you see, I have the session recording here. I'd have to wait for this to finish. So if I exit, I then have to wait for this to upload. And then in the session here, you can see my copy and pasting issue, but then eventually I have this. But if I run the same command on a host with uh, B, um, the BPF, this host here, Same thing, it has like the output from example.com, but in the teleport audit log, you can see that we created a session network connection, program curl, what was the endpoint of the host? Where did it go to? And, you know, this is sort of, you can actually see there's a lot of other information here. So you can see that it was base64 encoded, encoded, it was curl, um, a range of things. So there's pipe, so this does create a lot more audit events, but if you have a particular system in which you want to keep very up-to-date SIEM reporting, enhanced session recording is the way to go. Another output is shell scripts. Someone might be running, uh, uploading a script, executing it. You may not know what that script is executed. This will let you do that. And lastly, there are some ways in which you can disable terminal controls. Disabling terminal echo could mean you could run a command without being captured. And lastly, because our session recordings are sort of unstructured, session recordings can be difficult to ingest and um, actively monitor and alert on. So these are one of the reasons why you'd want to use enhanced session recording. With Teleport 7, we've made a few changes. By default, we require at least a Linux kernel above um, 5.8. So if I come to these 5.8.0, let me just check the last host. It may have been a case that I haven't turned on BBF, BBF on the host. Yeah. So the host that I showed you without it, the kernel supports it, but I hadn't turned it on in the file config. So there's a few distros for supported kernels. These are relatively, you know, new ones. Um, Groovy Gorilla, um, 2010, Fedora, Arch Linux, all these range. Just make sure it's above um, 5.8. When you're installing the teleport node, everything is the same. You just turn on the SSH service, and then you need to add in this enhanced recording to be true. Once that's set, um, it'll be captured. This changes a lot from previous versions of teleport in which you had to compile BCC tools. This is no longer a requirement for teleport. Then lastly, you know, we just have information on logging in, inspecting logs. And that sort of brings me to the end of um, teleport enhanced session recording.